What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the Chop Sports Fight Factory right here on Premier Plus and, of course, the Premier Podcast Network. It is your host, Dave Sturchio. I don't even... Braun Tommy. Wish.com Braun. Wish.com Braun. I like it. Uh, did you macramate that shirt yourself with I, your hands? I did. You are a savage. Uh, Chris Payne is on assignment right now. As I say this, uh, he actually just FaceTimed us before. He's missing us tremendously, so... We hope Chris Payne stays safe out there on the streets, a.k.a. his toll booth or whatever the hell he's doing. And, of course, welcome back. And it looks like she's really taken on this producer role once again. She has officially crossed out Payne Cam and I put have. Shay Cam. So it's the I absolute have. eyewear Shay Cam. Welcome back to the program. Shay, how program? we doing? Program? Program, yeah. Okay. Yeah, the program. Uh, make sure you're close enough to that mic. I know it is. Hello. It's a little bit. Hello. Di- all right. All right. I can right. hear myself. All right. Good. As long as you can hear yourself, that all that yeah. matters. We are being powered by Dudes Gourmet. Uh, did you sample your shit yet? I did. Um, and is it, I'm, is I'm it, waiting for is next. Is it everything week? that you hoped it would be? Yeah. I'm waiting for next week uh, to show the our, our viewers and uh, got a little something to do at the end of the show next week. Of course he does. Um, so anyway, Dudes Gourmet put out Fight Factory at checkout. Um, and you'll get 20% off. Tommy's Barn Burner uh, is officially uh, for sale, I guess you could say. I mean, we're selling those I gotta now. Cut the, I got to cut the promo for it. Oh, there's a promo for it now, so Tommy's These Hollywood. These are the stipulations that oh, he was okay. making. Yeah. Well, that's that's Tom, and it was good to see Tom at Russell Pro over the weekend, finally. I haven't seen that guy in a minute. Hey, uh, Dave. Yes? Can you move your Pepsi off of the camera? Oh, shit. Thank you. <laughs> and that's CM Punk we have uh, as a guest here today. <laughs> yeah, Pepsi so, Phil. Pepsi is the official sponsor of the show, yeah. Uh, also, obviously, we said it before, the Absolute Eyewear cam is obviously powered by Absolute Eyewear. So go check those guys out in Main Street, in Main Street, on Main Street, in Woodbridge. Um, it looks like we tried to dress up. I didn't because I'm an adult. Um, and so it looks like we got, again, you tried Braun Breaker. You even had your barber or you put the little uh, slit barber. in the middle. Yep. That's awful. Uh, looks terrible. Whoever your barber is should be fired. Um, and, of course, Shay... Uh, she I failed at my costume. You failed at your costume. You were trying to be me, which, yes. by the way, sorry, there's only one me. And I have um, my hat, you too. You have the cowboy hat it. to prove it. You have a chain on. I we had it all set up. you have a Yankee up. t-shirt on, so you really I are... I forgot my beard. ...dialing up the yep. Dave we had it. We had it all set up at WrestlePro when we were hanging out. Mm. First, I was like, yeah, come dressed as Julia Hart, right? Easy costume for a girl. And then it was either Shay or her dad that was like, why don't you dress up as Dave? We were like, and okay. Then the, the light bulb just went <laughs> off. It was like, oh my God, that would be perfect. But so, I forgot my beard. Yeah, so which you sucks. can't forget the beard. It's because the, who's a better mark for Dave than Dave? This that is, is true. true. Um, nobody marks out better for myself than me. Uh, it's called self uh, promotion. Hey, wait a minute. That's not true. We marked out for you pretty hard as you. Uh, Made your your in ring so, return. Oh I yeah, guess we'll, we have to talk about. We'll this. start. We'll start with the weekend. Obviously, uh, we'll we'll get into the wrestling and WWE AEW as we head towards a couple of the pay per views, Crown Jewel, Full Gear. So there's a lot of stuff to get into today. Uh, but yeah, so Wrestle Pro uh, came and went. Um, I was on a, a TV series set Saturday and Sunday with Jimmy Palumbo and Six Twenty Four Promotion uh, Productions. And I was getting ready to go. We were on the field. I knew I had to get out of there a little early, so they filmed all my scenes first, which, again, thank you, Tom, uh, for doing that. We know a lot of Toms. Yeah. Um, So we did that, and I'm on my way. And listen, since the day I stopped wrestling, I've had the idea that any kind of rumble situation or – mystery tag situation or something to that effect that I would get up off a commentary and go do my thing. It never came to fruition for seven years. And I I just figured, all right, you know what? That ship has kind of sailed, blah, blah, blah. Always happens when you're not looking for it. But I'm talking to Kevin Matthews, and he books the show along with Pat Buck. And um, they had presented me – well, they told me that Chernoff, obviously one of the owners of the Premier Streaming Network, my commentary uh, commentary partner, color commentator – uh, Josh Chernoff was going to be an entrant in the Rumble, and they told me the idea of his spot. It didn't include me originally, and I was like, all right, that, that's hilarious. And I did tell Kevin, I was like, hey, man, listen, if that don't work, I do have this, this vision of, of finally getting back into the ring um, and finally doing something physical in the ring rather than just with a mic and interviewing somebody or whatever the case may be. So a couple guys, travel issues, a couple spots opened up. And they flipped a switch on me, 
And on my way into the arena, I walked into the venue and shout out to Will, the guy who does all the graphic work and, and uh, the countdowns and all this other shit, right? I walk in and I get to about the ramp area where all the newer students and some of the younger guys are, are chilling around the ramp area and they're doing countdowns and they're playing songs and anytime the guy's song is played, mm -hmm. yay, you know, blah, blah, blah. So as soon as I get there, I get to the ramp and the countdown's happening. I'm like, oh, cool. Who's the next guy? And all of a sudden my music blares and my fucking face is on the, th I'm like, I'm like, is this happening today? And they're like, all oh, like, all the boys are getting excited. Like, oh, Dave's back. Well, I'm like, no fucking way. Like, this is actually going to happen. Um, so, yeah. So the idea was Josh Chernoff to draw number one. I would take off the headset, draw number two. I would go in there, pretty much make quick waste of, of Chernoff. And mm -hmm. then Chernoff uh, got right back in there like the weasel he is and dumps me over the top. Now, I will say it's been seven years since I've been able to do anything physical in the ring. Um, to grab Josh by the back of his weasel little neck <laughs> and kind of present him to the crowd. And I pointed directly at Shay's family. You did. Um, that, that's where I'm planting this guy. I'm planting him right in front of Shay and the Coopers, right? So I was like, which is kind of funny because, and I, I have to find the video, but my first battle royal I ever had, I had Damian Gibbs on my shoulders and I knew I can throw him out at that moment because that was the spot. And I pointed at my family and I, Dumped him at my fam. So it was kind of like a real whole full circle mm -hmm. moment where I got to point to my second family, my guys, uh, the Coopers, and dumped Chernoff over. He comes in, he dumps me over. Now, if you watch and do the videotape over, he grabs my right leg. I decide to lift my left leg and go over the top rope. Makes no sense. He's, that's the, the, the leg he's trying to lift is not the leg I threw over the top first. I got to tell you, buddy, you would be perfect for an AEW Battle Royal. Wow. Uh, anyway, so um, wow. I did plant... Welcome back, with Shay. my left, and that's not the one you plant with. You 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 reach over with your strong arm, strong I, hand, my strong hand, and I and I reached over with my left. My whole body went over. I felt something happen. <laughs> I was like, awesome. And when I <coughs> excuse me, when I went out to the you know, I, my first words were. Uh, the camera's right in my face, and I'm like, are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> you know, like, that's how that's how this is gonna end. And, um, yeah, so, I, I, you know, we kind of met at the bottom of the ramp. And we were kind of, like, looking at each other, like, all right, well, we acknowledge the fact that we're like, none of us won, so let's just do our job now. So we walked back there, and uh, that was it. But, um, yeah, it was, it was very cool to get back out there. You feel that rush. You feel the, the, the intensity of the crowd just chanting your name, and things are just, I don't know, man. It's, it's indescribable. I loved it. And of course, you know, the next questions from a lot of my friends and some family have asked to like, well, what's next? You know, you're gonna do it, you're gonna do it again, right? And I'm just like, boy, my shoulders feeling five days later. I'm like, fuck all that. Uh, but look, you don't never know. You know, I know Kevin Matthews commented on the picture saying, now we gotta get you guys an appropriate match. And I'm yeah, just like, oh, for the love that's, of God. That's, no, that's we need, what, that's we what need I'm that going to with. happen. Well, yeah, everybody wants that to happen, yeah. huh? From a collective Shay and 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 uh, Braun. Hey, I'm, just, I'm glad I was there for it. It was, I mean, it was a really good and show. And I didn't tell Shay. I didn't no, tell you I guys. No. I didn't tell anybody. Because I, I, obviously I found out officially like two hours before doors. So like I didn't tell anybody. But you didn't tell me. Josh told me. Oh, uh, Josh told you. Was, I was thanks, not told Josh. in any capacity. And both of you were like, it's going to be a really good battle royal. Like something big is going to happen. You know what's so happen. funny? Every single time, Kevin, her, her father. My dad. Um, Always ask me, do we got a good show tonight? What, what do we got tonight? What do we got? You know, we'd always kind of like try yeah. to make have me peel back the curtain a little bit. I'm just like, yep, it's going to be great. It's going to be fun. What blah, I want to know is who they snuck in the back with a towel over their head. Who are you talking about? Uh, somebody was walking like from that outside door. Okay. Had like a towel or a hood on over their head. And then like they got scurried to the back. So I thought there was going to be like, I thought like that might have been, was gonna that might've been dark STG. Okay. Without the makeup, maybe you know that could be something like that. I know Gino Gotts was there. Follow looks like a million bucks. I don't know. The follow looks like a fuck. <laughs> He's it's a killer. Funny. It's uh, it's funny. It, it I is like a it. it's a yeah dead follow or t I don't even know what you call him. But dark ba. Dark ba. Yeah, whatever you want to call him. It was uh, the night itself was great, and I got to give a shout out to the winner of the actual on the spot title shot rumble CPA, who is now calling his shot next month, November twenty sixth. It's either he wins the championship. 
or he's done. Yeah, but so, did he retire? Or was he going to retire? He was. He whole... was thinking about it originally, and then all of a sudden, he's like, I, "Maybe if I can win this Rumble, it'll be a, a little bit more of a okay. easier chance to get a path back to the championship scene." Because once you lose to Vargas once, Vargas isn't going to give you another chance just from happenstance. You know what I mean? No. So all of a sudden, now he's earned it. So we'll see. Um, great night, though. We got to see the NWA Championship defended. Pat Buck, EC3. Yeah, that was pretty cool. Me and cool. Tommy were watching that together from the back, and we're like, in all due respect to Pat Buck, there's no way he's winning this match. And then when he got pinned, me and Tommy looked – or, sorry, when he pinned EC3, we looked at each other. We're like, what the fuck just yeah, happened? Yeah, <laughs> I, I Even me on commentary, I'm like, uh, you know, like, because, I again, as a as a lead guy, I don't like to know wins and losses. I don't like to know yeah, – it's, it's good that you don't know that because yeah, you I'd get rather the have genuine authentic, surprise. Yeah, authentic calling of the action. And my – anytime you hear me say, oh, my God, which pff, happens to be a lot um, – it's authentic. You know, I'm actually genuinely excited. I'll never forget when Anthony pinned Donovan. You go, holy shit! Yeah, like, I mean, really just I, I do want to apologize. Oh, I did Anthony. drop a couple F-bombs uh, when Josh originally got up and said, some of us still can go, and still can still go, and we're not all hacks. Like, you <laughs> pointing right at me, and I'm like, this motherfucker. You know what I mean? Like, I was pissed. Um, he didn't have to add all that stuff. So, you know, like I said, I made quick waste of him. <laughs> um, and that was that. But Wrestle Pro once again knocks it out of the park. Well, I uh, liked having the genuine not knowing you were gonna be in the rumble like reaction. So like I know Tommy knew and I, obviously I mean no one told me. So my family was like, The Is only thing I'll say it's gonna be in there. The only moment that was kinda ruined for me <laughs> oh, was well. the timing of yeah. the music and the and the tron. So my tron starts playing. I can't see the tron. So I hear, yeah from somebody i'm like it was probably what? my dad or my mom i was like what you know on commentary i'm like what do you what's wrong and then my music plays i'm like bro you had one job to make sure that this thing was in sync um See, but, but then i got I, to start recording at a reasonable time this is true time. and you got some authentic uh, fan cam footage um but yeah they it was, the it is, they're also not used to having the commentators coming from there to i guess the i mean it is the first two so it's not it's just like a normal match really it's not something that they were practicing for eh, i guess know. not. yeah but what you a, would think the music and the tron would hit at the same time but you know well i mean you'd think multi-million dollar companies would be able to get that stuff right okay. but they don't <laughs> it's not you're not wrong tommy yeah, i mean there's always a we're talking about something. a wrestling show in a gym so yeah i mean obviously like i said wrestle pro once again top to it, bottom listen i gotta say night. it was pretty cool to be in the presence of that nwa championship knowing the limit like we we talked about the lineage of it mm -hmm. knowing that lineage of, yeah. of who's had that belt yeah you know 101 other participants it was uh Pretty cool to be in the pretty presence cool. of that. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. It was cool. also really cool to see Gabby lift uh, tracks over her shoulders. Yes. yes. So Gabby comes in there, uh, goes right in there for Giant Leather, um, who also made his return. Yeah. I haven't seen Giant I, Leather in a I very long time. I never laughed so hard at a gimmick in person <laughs> in my entire life. Giant Leather is a good guy. His brother uh, plays right tackle for the Buffalo Bills. He's the highest paid oh. right tackle in the league, Deion Dawkins. So really? that's his brother. Yeah. So um, how that happened, <laughs> I have no idea. Uh, but anyway, so it was good to see him um, in the back and, and, and kind of reconcile with all the boys, Moff and, you know, everybody. Moff had a great run. Um, his match turned into a triple threat title yep. match. That was good. Um, there's always a door involved somehow or some way, but that was a good one. Um, but, yeah, man, o overall, we're all pleased with it. Um, next month – Survivor Series type style thing. Uh, will we see a Team Destruction versus Team Chernoff? I don't know. I think uh, we should. That seems to be in the in the mix. I don't know if that's actually going to be a thing, or maybe we manage or something to that effect. I don't know. We'll find out. I mean, if you need one, I, but I it did that. it did I feel a guy for you. Yeah, it mm -hmm. did feel really good to get back out there, and now it's uh, pain. You're up, dude. Yeah. So mm -hmm. now we're all making comebacks here. I mean, Josh after 15 years, me after seven, you after dude, I guess when I the texted same when I texted Pain and said. And I sent it the picture. Dave made his return. You know, you're on the clock. He called me. He goes, he really did it? He <laughs> fucking did it? He really got the ring? He wrestled? Yeah, I mean, <laughs> define wrestling. It wasn't really much wrestling at all. Well, um, I mean, you said you were a Ryback fan, so there you go. <laughs> yeah, right. There you go. Uh, and I didn't watch the thing you sent me, but or you didn't send, you sent me a screenshot of the Ryback thing. I guess he was trying to talk no, about it. No, royal. it wasn't a video. It was just a picture of his head. And then his royalty behind him of like two hundred and eighty nine dollars. <laughs> yeah, keep the dream alive, there, Ryan. Mm -hmm. um, Shit, three hundred bucks is three hundred bucks. I mean, <laughs> ask any girl in a corner in Atlantic City with three. I keys. will have to say, 
Shout out to my improv skills as we were looking at technical difficulties oh, with the boy. stream where I had to oh sit God. there and talk to the crowd for 20 fucking minutes. Yeah, prior. I wonder what was going on. I I didn't even know. They were just like, hey, uh, we're not live yet. I'm like, okay, let me know. You know and the I'm guy's like, oh, we're trying to reset. I'm like, reset. Um, it was like that time we were in Brooklyn and you had to stall for like 45 oh, minutes. Yeah, the with, the yeah and then fucking hot dog stars came out there and I kicked them out of the ring. Um yeah, that's basically. Yeah, because it's funny. You get up there and you start talking like you guys are going live. I'm like, all right, the show's gonna start. And I saw Kevin ping ponging around all over the place with his bandana on, and I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, yo, do you want a slice of pizza or something? Because you like you sweat, and he's like, yo, dog, it'd be awesome. Well, I went outside and got a pizza. Where the fuck is their pizza? There's there was a, a pizza truck. There's at a the pizza show. truck that they park on the side. Oh, son of a bitch! How did I miss this? I, I didn't even know about it. Mother Kevin, fucker. Kevin's like, yeah, it's something new. He goes, I would have shit myself though. So he goes, damn, dog. Oh, I saw I wanted a piece. I go, it's a, it's a little pizza, Kevin. I was like, I'm, I'm having some too. Relax. <laughs> how much, how much do I owe you for this, dog? I was like, a spot as a manager on your roster. <laughs> what did he say? I have to talk to the booker. Yeah, yeah, yeah that'll never happen. Um, <laughs> but anyway, Wrestle Pro was fun. Great weekend. Yeah. Felt good to be back out there. Um, and now we can turn our attention over to the WWE. Uh, but by the way, before we get into all this, Shay came at me with a breaking news thing on the interwebs. Oh. Today? Very funny Should stuff. Should I find it again? I mean, if you want, you can pull it back up. I found it. it to be hilarious. So Pat Buck did an interview with Sam Roberts. Okay. And Sam Roberts is obviously one of the biggest hosts. Maybe in wrestling right now, I think, personally. I've, I've always been a big fan of Sam. Oh, don't forget Chris Van Vliet now. Van Vliet's on the podcast scene, but but Sam's got serious to back him up and stuff like that. So it's a little bit more different, different scale. So the headline reads what? Pat Buck accuses Vince McMahon of destroying his suits for bizarre reason. <laughs> so, so I read the article, and it's hilarious. Because, like, apparently, and in typical Vince McMahon fashion, Pat has a nice collection of suits. But Vince was like, he's he's too flashy. That's, he's a producer. Why is he wearing that? You know? Blah, blah, blah. So he's like, all right, if you want me to dial it back, I'll dial it back. But every time that he wore like a really nice suit, for whatever reason, all of a sudden, creative put Pat in a scrum or put Pat in a situation where Nia Jax would jump him and then he would separate these two and get roughed up. And all of a sudden, these nice suits become unusable if they get torn, if they get... So all of a sudden, Pat's got this little, almost like a conspiracy theory. Like, anytime he wore a good suit, he thinks Vince put him in to show face and get fucked up. <laughs> so I find that to be hilarious. I, I don't know. Yeah, I mean, it's it's Vince. Yeah, Does it surprise right. you? That, it's not surprise me at all. Yeah, so. I was looking at, like, the week's, like, wrestling news, and I came across this thing, and I'm like... <laughs> like, like just put it up to the camera real quick, your camera. Because I think it's hilarious how it's just Pat Buck. Can you even see it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And Vince McMahon. And it's like the freeze frame. I forget which news source it was. What's not credited? Uh, because don't, 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 don't even credit I'm not going to say it. Uh, because, you know, sometimes maybe maybe Pat said that out of context. And this guy was like, well, I got a story. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, the context that it's in in that article is hilarious. And it, it, it there are they are direct quotes. So it's not like <laughs> it's funny. It's, still, it's funny. But. I digress. Apparently Good job, Vince Pat. Was a, Vince was a big ribber. He thought farts were funny and playing pranks on people were funny. I saw. I, I was watching the RVD pod. Um, every uh, what's it called? One of a one of a kind or yeah, one of a kind. Yeah, one of a kind. It's on premiere. Go check it out. It's actually really funny. There was a part where he's talking about Kurt Angle and a match that they had with Kurt Angle, and he did like one of those. You know, it was one of those windmill leg drops that he does. Yeah, right. So he does it on the back of Kurt Angle's head and Angle has his head directly smash the announcer's table and bust him open, right? So RVD goes to the back, and he's like, yo, man, I'm sorry. And he said this, and I quote, I busted up your boy. Like, your boy being Kurt Angle. And he's like, I busted up your boy by accident, my bad. And Vince's reply was, well, maybe next time he'll turn his head. <laughs> yeah, like, Or don't fucking make him bleed. Um, but anyway, Vince, what a guy. What a gem. Let's get on over to uh, SmackDown. We're not going to talk, like I said, in depth. The one highlight we will say is Bianca Belair returned mm -hmm. uh, to help out Charlotte Flair to, uh, you know, kind of get rid of damage control. So that's and I love newsworthy. reading the complaints on Twitter. Oh God, here comes Bianca again. Yes, she's a contact contracted wrestler. They absolutely need on her. A contracted they, wrestling team. What are show? people talking about? Why like, don't they want her to show up on the need show? That she's Bianca. On. You know what it is? Because I guess they're like, oh, they're going to give her the belt again. She doesn't need the belt. She she doesn't need it. Bianca's an attraction. You and if she does shit. get it, good because she was. I mean, she was a good champion. Towards the end, 
All right. It kind of got boring. It, at the towards end. the end, it did kind of get boring. But the beginning of her title reign, she's just as strong as most of the guys. Like she's another one like Rhea that you could probably throw her in the men's rumble, 100%. and she could throw a couple people out. I agree. I hope that why she's back is so that way Jade can kind of get in a feud with her with Bianca. I don't think Jade's going to be touching the main roster yet. Really? You think she's going to go to NXT? Just based off of what I saw, I think Jade made her official she on sat, screen. She sat on a throne during uh, NXT. Uh, the Halloween Becky Havoc. and okay. uh, all right. So it looks like Jade might be chilling there in NXT for a minute. Good. I agree. Good. Um, let's get to Raw. It started off. Now, I will say this. I'll have to credit her. As you're watching this on a Thursday night, possibly, if you're watching it on a Friday, there is a chance that Gabby AF also made its debut on the Premier Streaming Network. That's with Gabby Laspiza. Uh, she made the perfect analogy for what the Judgment Day has become. And I have to credit her with this one. The Judgment Day are the bread of the sandwich. Meaning, on Raw, they always start and they always finish. Everything else is the meat in between and the cheeses and all this stuff. But they are like... It's like the NWO and WCW. Basically, yeah. yeah. I mean, they've become that big where they're must-see in the beginning and they're must-see at the end. So must-see in the beginning, we got Cody Rhodes, Damian Priest, official for Crown Jewel. So I think, you know, we've been talking about Damian Priest being such a uh, stud and role player and getting better and better. A match with Cody Rhodes over there will do wonders for him, I think. I think he might win, Priest. I could see that. He could. I, I think could he's going to win that, that match. Yeah. Uh, Judgment Day and J.D. McNugent uh, attacked Cody and smashed his leg between the st uh, steel stairs and a chair. So are they writing him off? <laughs> is he going to Saudi or no? No, he is. He, he is. He, was just, at, he just did, did a house. He got a fucking injury. He just did a house show this past weekend, and he had the, the brace on the, his ankle. Did he not come out at the end of Raw anyway? All right. Yeah. I, I didn't get there yet, and I was watching I'm Monday Night Football. Sure. Thank you very well, much. I know you were. That's why I give you your notes. <laughs> See, it's, it's hard times. <laughs> hard times, going through baby. hard times. New Day defeats the Alpha Academy. Was it any good? No. No, but uh, the Alpha Academy, it looks like they got, a, they got a new... Uh, <laughs> no, no, suck. No. Alpha Academy has a new uh, recruit. Oh, yes. Do you know Tiz about this one, Tizawa? Dave? Tazawa. Tazawa? Yeah. yeah. Good for him. Didn't you see the video of him last week with the, with the weights in his hand? Well, I did see Now he's an official. So, of course, when that happened, I texted Payne. I go, hey, look, they've got a fourth member now. You could stop saying that they're a faction with three members. They've got a fourth member now. Mm. I still think the girl turns eventually. I That was my call from the she beginning. She seemed... She she carries herself like but a heel. She's also perfect for Imperium because she That's had That's what I'm saying. Yeah, she had the whole model thing going mm -hmm. and you know, they're 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 German. Are so. they both still there? The models that, that she left? No, no. they both they're, got, they got fired. They're gone, right? They yeah, wow. Yeah. So they just happens. went on a podcast and we're talking about when uh Braun Strowman attacked them and Braun's gotta be coming back soon too, right? But like one Hopefully. of them had a lunchbox and the lunchbox was supposed to have a sandwich in it. But when Braun, like, attacked them, I guess, I think it was, um, Mas, whatever, Masse and Mon Mas Puto? Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. Anyway, one of them had a lunchbox, and when he got attacked, he, like, threw it, but it went in the crowd. But the spot was that Braun was supposed to eat the sandwich, <laughs> but oh. there was no sandwich for him to eat. No sandwich. So I just found, I, when I was listening to that story, it sounded pretty funny. Rhea Ripley tried to get Seth Rollins to join the Judgment Day. Well, that'll happen. Um, I could see that though. No, oh, man, Rollins can't be with a fucking group again. That'll Why? never happen. Cause he's a loner, bro. He's that's that's him. I'm a loner, he, Dottie. He can't rebel. <laughs> he can't. <laughs> he can't put himself in a mix anymore. He, that's, he's a solo guy. He ain't going nowhere. But then again, the last time I guaranteed something and my mortgage was put up. Yeah, now yeah, I'm Dave, homeless. Dave all I'm saying is that now Adam studio. Copeland's in AEW. All I'm saying I could see it. All right. No, Dave now lives at the studio because his mortgage is yes, gone. Hey, know. listen. I mean, there's people that, that hard times, their, baby. Their, there's people that live in their their studio space here. Dude, no, 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 no. Um, <laughs> Becky Lynch defeats Indy Hartwell for the NXT Women's I Championship. I like Indy Hartwell. I, I think she's got that a good That was a future. really good match, I think. With she's Andy. got a good future. She's really good in the ring. She's getting a lot better. <laughs> I love Shay's notes. Women's World Championship contract signing obviously ended badly. <laughs> <She> was, <laughs> what else am I going to write about it? I mean, it's it? always... Has there ever been a clean no. yes. contract signing? One. Who? What? Hogan. Andre. I thought he got his... Like okay, in the last Hogan. forty, that in was, the last forty Piper's years, pick. they did the the contract signing like the next week with Jack Tunney sitting in the middle. Yep, I do remember that. Wow. Okay, and all the Hogan did was slam the table. That's it. And Andre just stared at him. All right, Tommy. In the last forty years, has there been a clean <laughs> contract signing? No. Oh my God, Johnny Gargano defeats Giovanni Vinci. Um, how's Gargano look? It was a really short match. Short match. Very okay. short. No pun. So, um, oh, Logan Champa came back to uh good. 
help Gargano, even though he's been gone yeah, for, like, DIY, DIY, right? yeah. He's been gone yeah. for, like, two weeks, but he returned. He was just on uh, Van Vliet's Van podcast. Yep. Yeah, yeah. Logan Paul and Dominic are now besties, and Logan Paul tried to get Samantha to announce him as the new United mm-hmm. States champion. Rich, uh, Ricochet comes out and attacked both of them. <sighs> what? I... I well, don't think they should put Ricochet in, like at all in there because Logan's wrestling Ray. So what are you putting Ricochet well, out Ricochet there? Well, Ricochet is because that's his chick. That's yeah. Yeah, Samantha but I mean, like, what you, was that just like a one-off or like what are they doing? Maybe like, next week there'll be a tag match. There you yeah, go. Yeah, I mean they've worked together already. They already have that. But you know, it would be co- I wouldn't mind seeing Logan in a faction. That would kind of be fun. Logan should lead a faction. Logan Maybe. should get prime. out of WWE. <laughs> Maybe he prime might. Faction. Wait, what did you just say? What? Logan should get out of WWE. You're Listen, crazy. I'm not, I'm not a, lo- I am not a fan. I am not a fan of the Paul him. brothers, but I actually enjoy him. His in brother WWE. should join him. No. no. I hate no. Jake Paul more than I hate Logan. Uh, and I don't actually hate Logan. I just I think hate Jake Paul. Logan. He's a bitch. I don't want to see Jake Paul in the WWE. Fuck no. that guy. He uh, yeah, will 110% fuck that guy. wind up in the WWE. I will put yeah, my second mortgage on it. He won't be as good as his brother. No, he won't be. Mouthpiece, because Logan stinks. I'm talking. He I don't does. think he's any good. Which is kind of funny because he has he's a, got a podcast. A podcast. And, I, well, that's a t- totally different ball game. You know, when you're cutting a promo in front of people, you can't curse. You can't be yourself. But he's supposed you to be to... an actor too. A what? An actor, allegedly, but he Oof. can't act to act. save his life. I mean, who's an actor? They consider Logan porn Ball. stars okay. actors too. All right. it's, the, the actor's a stretch. Well, if that's the case. Evidently, I got, Dave's I got a an actor now. No. I'm just saying. Evidently, Dave's an actor now. So I mean, I got an IMDb page now. Uh, no, I don't. Uh, but I will be creating one. Thank you. Uh, Chelsea Green and Piper Niven defeats Natalia and Nikki Cross. Nikki walked out on Natalia. That bitch. I'm kidding. I didn't see it, but that that seems like a bad thing. Sure. Whatever. Why not? Dynamite dropping money. Uh, Drew McIntyre defeats Listen. Sammy Zayn because Rhea can uh, came out and distracted Sammy. 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 Um, Wow. So this McIntyre and Rhea thing's got some legs. It, it does. was Rhea basically going out there to see, like, to say, like, see what I get to do to help you. Like, you know, this could happen. I What's think, that? I I think that. what we've been talking about is, is going to happen. What? There's going to be members of Judgment Day that are going to be. Judgment Day red and black and Judgment Day uh, white yeah, and black. Yeah, no, they're going to be, gonna <laughs> the be NWO kicked parts. out, and then they're going to get. They're gonna try and get stronger people. An in. influx in, yeah, I can, I can. What see do you it. do? Logan Paul comes walking out. His hair is jet black. <laughs> no more blonde. <laughs> Comes out looking like like Damian Priest. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Bronson Reed back in action. He takes out Tozawa after the match. The New Day <laughs> felt bad for him, so they gave Tozawa a Cowboys inspired title belt. Yep. Is it the Cowboys belt that like that all the teams yeah. have? Yeah. It's the one that WWE one is doing. Yeah, like yeah, the, yeah. No, yeah. I saw it. One. I saw it when I was at the Cowboys game in Dallas. Somebody it's funny. Well, there's now only, Tozawa has there's one only and one you team don't. that doesn't have one. The Raiders. No. The Giants. The Jaguars. Oh. Obviously. Well done. No, they definitely do. No. Do they really not have one? Do they really not have one? Wow, they're being petty. That's no. a petty, petty the move. The cons man. are petty. That's what I'm saying. It's a petty yeah. move on their behalf. Like, come on, man. Go get yourself a title. <laughs> that would be fucking hilarious, though. I would be you hilarious. Imagine if Tony Khan walks out with the fucking WWE <laughs> Jaguars belt. Like, That's you can get this saying. at WWEshop.com. No, could, could you imagine, like, the Jaguars won, like, the Super Bowl because WWE gives the winners the title belt? That would be great. I hope, like, I want the Jaguars What's more to likely, the Jaguars to actually win the Super Bowl or the WWE to give them a belt? Neither. <laughs> WWE to give them a belt. Yeah, right, but it would exactly. just be so funny if, like, they got that belt and, like, you know. Triple yeah, H is like handing the it only to Tony. Team to not have one. I like it. Damian Priest in the main event defeats Jay Uso. Balor came out, distracted Jay to help Priest win. Cody came out to help Jay. There's your kibosh in the end of Monday Night Raw, which everybody goes home happy. Um, so obviously it's it's all <coughs> roads leading towards it's, Crown Jewel. It's tough to watch. It. Like Raw's tough to watch to begin with because it's it's three hours, but it's tough with like you said Monday Night. Now, Football. all right, let's talk about this. Let's put our GM hats on for a second. If you were to cut things out of raw to make it a two-hour show you're you're losing talent like there's there's a gonna be a big sacrifice that's somewhere along the line where you're gonna be like i don't know man i I don't want to lose that like i know that new day and alpha academy right i mean that's a match that you guys said that wasn't that good but it's like new day needs to be on the show like matches i don't mind it's the backstage stuff that they need to cut and there's a million commercials because it's three hours so you, you cut out, yeah, you cut out <laughs> some money, bro. You yep. cut out some of the backstage promo garbage. Shenanigans, yeah. You know what I mean? Like if you want to throw it as like maybe a clip no, when you actually, come back don't, from break. No, actually don't don't clip out any of the backstage stuff. She's got my heart. She's got my whole heart. Ooh. The backstage girl on Raw. 
Yeah, no, that's fine. Oh. Like, do it as do it as so clips. I, I love you. I love you. <laughs> just, <laughs> just, just do it as clips or something. She is it's, a it's, firecracker. It's, it's, a, it's a couple minutes worth of dead air. Yeah, it don't matter. See, but also a lot of the raw roster. What the hell's her name? I, I follow her on Instagram. I forget. A lot of the raw <laughs> roster is on main event. So, like, the people yeah. that you're cutting from raw just go to main event. I mean, they're not, you know. like. Okay, riddle me this. Where can you watch main event? I don't know. I don't care. Uh, Peacock. <laughs> yeah? Mm. I don't watch main event, so the people that shouldn't be on well, Raw. That's not very nice, Shay, because there are hardworking individuals out there that are, are striving to be on main event. Yeah. Dave, do you watch Raw or like most of the wrestling shows throughout the week? Yes, I do, but I, it's not ever live, like on, like I catch up. Do you watch main event either? No, I don't watch main event, but shout out to everybody who is on main event. You guys. Yeah, good for them. Keep kicking So ass. the ones that you have to cut from Raw still have a show to wrestle on. All right. Well, anyway, um, NXT on Tuesday. Damn, just a couple Shay. notes. <laughs> I'm Brian ruthless. Pillman Jr. made his debut. So uh, Alexis King defeats uh, Dante Chen. Um, first of all, kid looks like a million bucks. Oh, he, God, he looks you're, you're the you're awesome. the first person I've heard give compliment because I mean these people on Twitter and they're, they're really they hate what what do they have to say about they're him? They're it's the AEW fans. Oh well, oh well, well, his beard is stupid. Oh WWE gave him a stupid name. Mm. No, he picked the name. No, that's not true. It's just like how come about on. how about how about you basement dwelling, teat come sucking? On, come on, come on, come on, come on. I come on, Dave. Keep I don't, don't want to. No. And it, no, this goes for all wrestling Phoebe fans. Moore. Not come just, on. Not just AEW fans. I'm talking about WWE fans. Too. Stop being goobers and just enjoy what you're seeing on television. Goobers. If you don't like it, don't watch it. You don't have to be the guy. You know, you don't have to be that guy, man. It's so dumb and overplayed and just. Look, the Lexus thing, it's for his dead sister. Whatever, it doesn't matter. It doesn't, and everybody's getting. It like, doesn't it, matter. They're like, oh, they gave whatever the, the case may be. Well, hey, listen, this is a this is a wrestling show. No, no, no. no I'm, just I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Whatever the case may be, as far as like name choice or look or gear or whatever, know that it what that nine times out of ten, it's not the performer's choice. It's really not. I it, like his beard. I, I love everything about him. I have him. no issue with anything Brian about Pillman it. Jr., yeah. A, can go in the ring. He's a fantastic performer. B, one of the nicest guys I've ever met. And C, just, it'll work. It'll work. I and you know what? Work. Eventually, he will go to the loose cannon. He will. That's going to happen. It's going to happen. I, I can bet huh, my third mortgage now <laughs> that... Before the end you of his never run, out of that house. I know, right? Before the end of the run of Brian Pillman Jr., he will be referred to as Brian Pillman Jr. In so WWE. before the end of the run of Lexus King, yes, okay, it'll it'll happen to the point where he either loses a match or somebody pisses him off to the point where he looks like there's a different look in his eye, and all of a sudden there's going to be a vignette saying, "I can't." Can't keep hiding of who I really am. Blah 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 blah. I'm the loose cannon. And he's gonna be, he's blah, gonna be blah, held blah, up blah. in his house with a gun. Yeah, and uh, Brian Pillman Jr. nine millimeter. <laughs> you yeah. know what I mean? So <laughs> all good. But there's um, always gonna be people that hate on it. Like, no matter yeah. what, there's gonna it's be just, those that's people. A, that's the world we live in, guys. So like, let you know, them it, it's yeah. the world we Halloween, live in. Halloween. I watched bits and pieces of Halloween Havoc. It was really good. Becky um, lost her belt. Yes, that's a big thing. Becky lost her belt, and I love that their uh, Lola Vice, who is Valerie Lareda. She's starting to really get Lola. that shine. Uh, she's starting to get that shine. She's a tremendous athlete, two and zero in Bellator. Um, oh, she's a fighter. Yeah, nice. Smoke oh, show. I, I think I know who she is. Smoke, smoke show. Yeah, smoke show. Good for her. She was tied to uh, Masvidal for a little while because they both got that. Miami so Lyra record. does get the win. Um, yeah, that's big, big. And again, this goes back to the same thing you said about Bianca. Becky doesn't need a belt. No. It helped no. with the ratings. It helped boost this girl, obviously, to the to the moon. They're giving her the belt. You know, they trust in her. Um, and when Chef they want to splash. Chef Michaels is really cooking with that uh, and when they roster wanna, that he's got. When they want to splash, they send somebody down for a week and two, or two. You know what I mean? That's like, not 74. That's not 74. Who's 74? Continue. So right. now where does Becky go from here? Back to back to the main back roster. To the main yeah. roster, yeah. Back to, to the main with, stage. To back feud to with him. work with a uh, Bianca. Work with a Bianca's Charlotte. on SmackDown. Whatever they could hmm. doesn't matter who, unless they kept her down there and then she works with Jade for a little bit. Let her tag up with somebody and take down Chelsea and Piper or something to that effect. No, no Chelsea Green deserves to retire with the with the tag team championship. Oh, okay. Now you sound like okay, fucking sure enough. Like you guys are blowing the the Ryder uh, the Cardona family. You know what I mean? Like I mean they're great, but let's. 
upon Brexit. I mean, let's, you know, Matt's a dude, but for Chelsea, yeah, absolutely. Keep that belt, Chelsea. A E dub. Um, starting on collision, Brian Danielson over uh, Andrade. After the match, Malachi Black came out, attacked Danielson. I thought, I thought Danielson was in that group. No, he's BCC. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. Same thing. Yeah, he's BBC. My girl, anyway. Sky Blue, <laughs> defeats Hollywood. Hey, is that no. the girl from OVW? What? I think they said she was from OVW. Yeah. That's sure. Hollywood Haley. That's the chick from the, the the series, the wrestler series. Yeah, Gabby Gabby was out there too from uh, the uh, from down south. Gabby down south. Who the hell is Gabby down south? Gabby Ortiz. You know her last name? Is? Oh, from Philly. Yeah, that's the south. <laughs> it's Philly. Um, south. <laughs> the guns. Pew pew. Defeat the outrunner. Who the hell are the outrunners? <laughs> jobbers. <laughs> yeah. Oh, jobbers. Okay, no big deal. Jeff Jarrett defeats Eddie Kingston. Now Jay Lethal gets a Ring of Honor title match against Eddie. Banger. Can't wait. I know you have your thoughts about Eddie Kingston, but Eddie Kingston and Jay Lethal will be absolutely. I like gold. Jay. Listen, I met Jay Lethal for the actually had met Jay Lethal for the first time on Saturday and got to talk to him. Very nice guy. I'm nice. very excited for him versus Eddie. Me too. It's gonna be a really good match. I think so too. Uh, Miro defeats Action Andretti. We saw Action Andretti at WrestlePro. He, uh, so he had himself a nice little weekend. Mm -hmm. um, FTR versus some jobbers ended in a no contest because House of Black came out to attack him. Yeah, all right. Ricky <laughs> Starks, Big Bill, baby, defeats Blackpool Combat Club for the AEW Tag Team Championships. House of Black attacked the BCC, and Ricky and Billy helped him. So FTR, Danielson, Moxley came out. Big kibosh. That's how we're ending all these shows lately. It's just yeah, big kiboshes. Just a bunch of um, fighting. Bunch of, yeah, a bunch of just schmoz. Schmoz, we'll go with it. As Bret Hart would call it, schmoz. You know, off topic. But I, I never, and this maybe this will catch flames, I don't know. I never bought into Bret Hart, the, the allure of Bret Hart. When I look at Bret Hart, and I know Bret Hart is up there with the greatest of all time as far as in ring, right? But I just felt like Bret Hart... All he did was complain. At the end, well, I mean, at the end you heard about all the complaining. And maybe that was part of his gimmick. Maybe that was part of his, like, I'm so frustrated because I just lost. But I feel like he actually took the losses to heart. Well, he know? did. Um, he did take the losses like, to I, heart. Like, when he lost to Owen at WrestleMania 10, which was playing at the Mack Truck event. They were playing wrestling. On the ground. So I watched that whole match, and I haven't watched that match in a long time. That was a good match. It was a great match. But I was like, he looks pissed. <laughs> you know, but, like, not wrestler pissed. Like, authentically mad. Well, like, And like, I just never understood. I just feel like there was more complaining done than wrestling when it comes to Bret Hart. I don't know. Maybe well, like, I'm just like Cornette wrong. And, and, and I'm a Shawn Michaels guy, so everybody's like... Yeah, but like Cornette and what's brother loves real name? Bruce Pritchard. They always said that in Bret's mind, he was the world champion. Like he... No matter he what, was, if he had the belt was, or not. He was the world champion. Like when he had the belt, he was. Like he won the belt. <laughs> rather Got than it. it was... You know what I mean? Yeah, so he always felt you. like... And listen... I guess it's good to have that kind of mindset to a, to a point because you give it that believability factor. Mm. You don't. There's no, like you can't say that Bret Hart was two faced or a bullshit artist mm. because he felt the way he felt his whole career. Now the co the complaining still continues because if you mention Bill Goldberg's name, that's like you know mentioning Orange Cassidy to Shea. She just wants <laughs> to explode in a chair and kill people. <laughs> Um, I kept telling my dad, I'm like, Yo, Tommy's the biggest fan of AEW. His favorite oh, wrestler is Orange Cassidy. Speaking of the best wrestler in AEW, MJF starts off Dynamite by defeating Juice Robinson for the Diamond Ring. After the match, all of the Bullet Club gold attacked MJF, so Roderick Strong and the Kingdom came out to help him. It didn't work, so the acclaimed and daddy ass came to MJF's rescue. Was is there this, any scissoring at done at that? Is, it, is oh, this MJF MJF's, or, wait, is this MJF's like sixth ring? The dynamite ring? I think yeah. it's like five years in a row, Isn't right? Isn't he defending it? He's defending it. That's yeah, the thing. Yeah, he's only defending it. It's not a new ring. Oh, so, yeah, but he's, he gets He's new... had it for like the last five years, basically. What is he? F fucking, uh, what's his name from the Celtics? Uh, the from center the for Celtics? the Celtics. Uh, Garnett? No, back in the day. Uh, Bill Russell. Bill Russell. He's the Bill Russell of, of I don't know. the but, diamond ring. So what happened after with uh, oh, the Oh, Max the was like... Scissor me. And MJF was like, I'd rather die. <laughs> and then walked out on him. That's, that's great. I love that. I'd rather die. Than those, two, those two are hysterical. Mm -hmm. See, but Dynamite, I didn't write this. I didn't know the right way to say it. Started with MJF, like, talking to, I think it was Renee. And then, like, it kind of cut. Like, it kind of glitched a little bit. And then the devil guy came on. And was just kind of looking at the camera. I love oh, how really? I love how everybody thinks it's CM Punk. Yeah, okay. So, 
Dave, you're going to bet a fourth mortgage that it's not <laughs> CM Punk? It's definitely not CM Punk. But. Who could? Who do you guys think it is? Well, why can't it be? Why can't it be MJF? Too skinny. Will you stop with the shapes of the person? Dude, because that doesn't make any sense to me. It, it never mattered. There's no, it's not an actual person. Like much like if what I'm saying is this, as you look at me, look like a third eye. What I'm saying is this: if remember Uncle Howdy was a thing for a little mm -hmm. while, right? They could have put anybody in that costume for that moment. And it's Uncle Howdy for that segment. What well, I'm saying is, you could put anybody I understand that, in that you, thing. So you haven't really been watching it. No, all not right, thoroughly. So putting, but. All right. So if they were to put, if they were to make that MJF, right? That Pepsi bottle is MJF's neck. This is the guy in the fucking mask. It wouldn't work. It'd be too stupid. Like I have all right, two that was people. Dumb. I what if there's multiple be? devils? I have two people. I think it could be. Mm -hmm. Okay. What do you got, Jake? I think it's either Roderick Strong because he's pretending to be hurt still, mm -hmm. or it's Kyle O'Reilly coming back. Bob O'Reilly. <sighs> See, here's my problem with that: is that I don't know if that would get much of a. reaction. What if it's Pat Buck? I don't know if that would get much of a reaction if it was Riley. I think just it involves like if Adam it was Roderick Cole Strong, he's Roger. been on TV every week. I mean, so you'll it's get like, her, you'll okay, get her, you'll get what if it's Adam Cole? See, and had whole injuries for gays. Or at well, least... the injury's not. That's definitely not. I mean, he could have rolled his ankle. They could have also milked the shit out of it, too. That is true, but... I don't, like, I don't know. Uh, and it could be because, you know, twig neck. But, but. Here, here, like, look look at us all just taking our chances and our guesses. So, AEW's on to something when it comes to storytelling. There's something really cool here. And um, hopefully the payoff for it will be something like, holy shit, not like, you gotta be fucking kidding me. You know what I mean? Like, Hopefully it's hopefully. not a you The only way it's gonna me. be holy shit is if it's somebody who's not an AEW wrestler, my, in my opinion. Yeah, that wouldn't be good. Who the hell is out there right now? Who's like a free agent? Who's a free agent? Dolph Ziggler. <sighs> that would be good if it was him. Oof. Damn, that would be fucking great. This that is what be... happens when you get me back on the show. I, I know, good the ideas ratings here. go up, I pain's out, ideas. done. Feels I think like we just times. get rid of pain. Yeah, me too. Um, but but he's the drawer. Damn, the drawer. Yeah, okay. <laughs> he's the drawer. <laughs> drawer. Well, is he fucking British now? All of a sudden, no. That's uh, Australian. Australian. They all do it. Um, but oh, man, Dolph I'm just Ziggler. thinking of like free agents. What about fucking Zack Ryder or Cardona? Car that no, guy's not, not big Cardona. enough to be Cardona. No. I don't know. I mean, look, it's it's compelling. We'll figure it he out just, as we he go. He just had a match in uh, MLW. Who? He just had a match in MLW. Yes. He flew home from. He was doing something in Australia. Flew mm -hmm. home. MLW the same day. Yep. Wow. Insanity. The Guns challenged MJF for their Ring of Honor Tag Team Championship full gear, so I guess that's going to happen. Give it give it to the Guns. Please give it to I the Guns. I hope it that goes would be to the Guns. I want it to go. <coughs> they need a belt. MJF challenged the Bullet Club goal to an eight-man tag, and if MJ team, uh, MJF's team wins, he'll get an AEW championship match. Roderick Stone Kingdom offered to be a partner. Oh, sorry. I meant that more. MJF would get the belt back, like how Jay White stole the belt. I see that. So wait a minute. Wait, 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 wait. Nuts. Time out. Time out. Time out. So he's trying to get the belt back that he never lost. Yeah. <laughs> he has to win a match to get the belt back. <laughs> For Jay White to be like, okay, here you go. Allegedly. <laughs> That's silly. Allegedly. Um, okay. Then the acclaimed asked. Uh, it, People fucking asked, wonder. and MJF basically walked out on him. I just... Yeah, I'd Speaking rather of MJF, he's in the fifth you. fucking segment in a row. Kenny Omega met MJF on the ramp, challenged him to a title match. Which will actually happen this Saturday on Collision. And I love how people that one's going to be good. I, I love how people bitter. are complaining about that. They're like, "Oh, why are they wasting it?" Because Collision is dying. I mean, it's not dying. It's it's just... di dude, it's dying. Like it's it's bad. Yeah, it's bad. Ratings are bad still. Ratings are bad, and they're they're doing fucking buy one ticket, get one free, like everything. Mm. See, I'm fucking bitter because I go to school in Connecticut, and this is at uh, at the Mohegan Sun, I think. So go. I can't because I'm doing something I can't say on camera on Saturday. So nothing bad, Tommy. You know. Shay, for the love of God. All right, I'm going to a bar crawl, but I'm okay. using. Why can't you say that Why on can't camera? Because I'm not 21, and when my parents watch. Well, you're stuff, driving. Me. You're the you're the Listen, designated Shay, driver. Shay, I will say this: you're in college. You have parents. Yeah. They know you drink. Yeah. They <laughs> like, do know it. Have you met my dad? He'll fucking kill me. It's but official. I'll make sure, I'll make they know sure you drink. Watch. Listen, but listen, out of sight, that could have been mind. so much worse, Shay. <laughs> yeah. Like, you could have been like, yeah, well, you know, I'm in this uh, <laughs> this porn. Like, <laughs> like, anyway. You know, you can't say shit like that. You got to be careful. Boulder messaged me and was like, do you want tickets to the show? And I was like, oh, I really do. And then I remembered I have this bar crawl on Saturday or Halloween weekend. But 
I'll go to AEW over the bar crawl. I would, but I'd be fifty next fucking dollars for a ticket. How much? Fifty dollars. For to not even get the drinks, just to actually participate in the bar crawl. So don't go. It sounds stupid. I don't want to go, but I already bought the ticket because all my roommates are going, and we're doing like a Sell four em. person costume. Sell them. What? What are you? What? What's? What's happening? Not a now? four. Like we're doing like a group of four. We're Wait, doing. What are you doing? Day? What like are you doing? The, could do that. We're doing like the four elements. Oh god. It's nothing like Wait. fun, fun. But what's the four elements? Like Earth, fire, wind, water. fire, water. Shay. Come on, you're better. I didn't come college, up with. I did not college. come up with college this idea. College kicks my ass. I mean, it's just like you could be a little better and more creative than that. I'd rather go to AEW. Thank so you. I'll make sure my roommates don't watch this. Be one of the Bellas or some shit. I don't know. I'm just throwing shit at the wall. See what sticks. I'd rather go to so AEW Tony. to see RV. <laughs> shut the fuck MJF out. versus Omega. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> uh, RVD and Hook defeat the Dark Order. Hooka. It was good to see RVD back out there. Darvy D. Darvy D. Darvy D. Uh, so when, when, so, when Sting retires, RVD should team up with Darby. Darby D, just like you said. Oh, cool. there you go. Tony Khan had a gift for Mr. Sting, who announced his <laughs> retirement next this year. This is not the gift I was 2024. Kind of shocked everybody. Shocked me. Wait, you know and Tommy, it? what did you, you know say last You who called it week? the entire time? You. Eric Bischoff. I'm bad. He I'm called... going to be working with Eric he... Bischoff soon. God, I, I'm a huge Eric Bischoff mark. I love Bischoff. No, because um, I remember last week, Tommy was like, Rick, don't do it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, it's so funny you did say that. And um, then there you go. So, yeah. So, the gift to Mr. Sting <laughs> was the the visitation, I guess you could say, and payday for Ric Flair yeah. to show up on AEW television. That was cool. Yeah, but did, um, you, did you did it even look like he wanted to fucking be there, no. honestly? No, I mean, it was fine. I thought the segment was Shay. Thank you. I thought the segment was he good. He looked like I he even, was there just for Sting. Yeah, like I, he would have liked I more money to be po- there. Honestly, can yeah. I also talk about the fact that Tony Schiavone talks a lot? Yeah, <laughs> like he talks a even lot. Even Sting I was your, like, I oh. love, and, and I'm not being a jerk. I love how positive you are. Like you're trying to keep that positivity <laughs> out there. You're, it's it's trying. great. Trying. You know, the power working. of positivity. It's a different company, but that's fine. Mm. He did not want to fucking be there. In any event. He looks like he was happy to be there with his friend, but he also was like, I'm not getting paid enough to be like, there. I did see, listen, no. See, that's where I think you guys when are When he wrong. first went out there, I went, holy shit. Yeah, I uh, see more people like than this no, in a bar crawl. No, 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 no. I will say this. You got the classic, you know, if you guys know Ric Flair the way that I've watched Ric Flair in the day, whenever he gets really pissed off at something, Kind of shuts one eye. Mm-hmm. Like, what did, what did you just fucking say? <coughs> Christian? Bro. Oh, that was hilarious. Yeah. He is Christian off aces script is on the microphone, Christian. man. Him off, him off script is, is amazing. He is so good. You He's know like, the real gift would have been if he died 20 years you know, ago. You know like, they're oh. not writing anything for him. That's just his I don't shooting. think so. That's no, they're shooting. not writing that. He's going out there and just <coughs> That's him shooting. Going. Yeah, he looked... Uh, that whole segment was awesome. I mean, Christian... And look, we all kind of... We're, we all kind of know that it's going to be Adam Copeland to join up. It with, has, to, it be. has to be, right? I you would think. wonder who's going to be the tag partner. I just said Adam Copeland. Exactly, because so. it's going to fucking <laughs> she be. Listen to me or not? She's Copeland. Uh, she's <laughs> so. Who Adam else Copeland. would it fucking be? It's going to be him. Um, Adam I Copeland said he's not going to fight Christian, but Sting seemed to ask Adam to be their partner at Full Gear. It'll happen. Um, the Elite defeated the Hardy Party <laughs> for the Ring of Honor Trios Championship. <laughs> After the match, sw- all right. So, all right. The Hardy Party. The Hardy Party. <laughs> that's what they call themselves. It was Jeff, well, that's Matt, a that's a pretty bad thing to be calling a guy who's in recovery. The guy. Oh, uh, stop. Um, the guy from uh, what's what was his name from the private party? Um, Isaiah. Yeah, him. Yeah. Sorry, brothers. A. Eh? Bro, he. Uh, first of all, there was one move where it was like a corkscrew over the top rope. Fucking money move. Um, so this is where I, I kind of. Every so yeah. often, there's a segment where that's I'm just a, like, "That's a tough segment, dude." Come on now, yeah. like you, that's you a, just, that's a tough just, segment. You don't gotta do a home invasion. You just don't gotta do it. Um, I love Swerve. Yeah. I love what he's done <coughs> lately. <coughs> Even downloaded his music just because I just think it's a banger of a track. Um, but this home invasion, staring into a baby's crib, that was really that's weird. a little much. I, was, I, I don't no, know. People I don't are, people agree. are like. They're on the fence with it on Twitter, right? Because they're like, I love what Swerve is doing. Yes, it's it's a provocative yeah, scene, but, it's, but is it needed? It's so non-realistic in the sense of this. First of all, if why somebody, is it baby by itself? If somebody... Well, right. Well, you that, would think in that realistic sense. Well, well I mean, well, they're in realistic sense, monitor in if the somebody, thing, if there's a baby by himself. So here right? you go. Uh, uh, hear me out. If somebody 
were to be caught on video looking to my kid's crib. Oh yeah. They're dead. Well, they're they're done. They're 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 not making it to the next taping. You know what I'm saying? Well, so that's why I feel like you can't do stuff like this because in reality, Hangman Page should murder him. When we when <laughs> like, we get off air, I, I want to tell you about a tweet that uh, the guy Alfred had put out I don't know who there. Alfred is, but all right. I don't, I don't want to say it on air, That's but fine. That's it, fine. it's funny. Uh, Sheeta defeats Ruby Soho for the Women's Championship. Sheeta did, versus Did you Tony see the Storm. stupid part in that match? Oh, here we go. I didn't watch that match. Um, Ruby tried to pull the Eddie Guerrero with some kind of weapon that was in the ring. I don't know what it was. Oh, yeah, and they didn't like... Sheeta it works. Like, Those things work. I like. No, it, it didn't so work. Like, it, it was pointless. Mm. It was pointless. I don't know, but that is AEW and WWE. And for apparently, week. we do have some news. Apparently, this was like the best I didn't dynamite put in the, the past main like, event six months. On here. You didn't sorry. put the main event from. I forgot to. What the fuck. Shay? I'm sorry. So what's the main event from Collision? It I mean, was, I'm sorry. Um, uh, Dynamo. Dynamite. Uh, DCC defeated Orange Cassidy and what's that guy's name? The Japanese wrestler that I don't remember. Takshita? No. Oh, the, the the coin drop one, right? The um, rain the rainmaker. Yeah, the rainmaker. Who was the rainmaker? Okada? Oh, like the Rikuzuchko okay. Okada. Okay, fine, fine. Yeah. That's the main? Yeah, that, that was, was the, the main, main event. Yeah. Okay. Was it any good? I mean, okay. it was mostly focusing <coughs> on like Danielson and Okada. Makes sense. They're trying to build. That's fine. That's yeah, good. and then it was like Oh, Danielson's hurt, and then all of the BCC came out to help Danielson, and all of Best Friends came out to look at Cassidy, and then everyone just kind of was like, so looking as, at as each you other. just said before, it ends in a schmoz. No, but they, it was just them looking at each other. Nothing else really happened. It oh, was, the, the dreaded stare down. Stare downs yeah, are Yeah, and Chris Statlander was out there too. She was <laughs> the only girl, and all the guys are just kind of like looking at each other. Okay. I've seen a video like that before. Okay. As of right <laughs> now, uh, to the news, WWE uh, is scheduling for war games at Survivor Series. Um, it's not planning to be Raw versus SmackDown. What I'm hearing is Jimmy versus Jay. Really? Team Jay versus Team Jimmy. I kind of like that idea. I love yeah. that idea. I, you know, that would that would be good. Um, That's a real so, bloodline civil so war. So, obviously, Crown Jewel, we are not we haven't talked about that. That's next week, right? Yep. Next Saturday. Okay, so we'll preview Crown Jewel next week and make our picks and stuff. But, like, my assumption Boy, is I that wait, I come wait. Survivor Series, it has to be another title I match. I can't wait to do that with Payne. Oh, this match sucks. I don't care. Oh, fuck it. Who cares who wins? We all lose. Uh, for the 15th week in a row that Shea put down, Drew McIntyre has <laughs> still not renewed his WWE contract. So I guess they're he still ain't working for free, Shay. I know he's not. He's just not. Under and I don't think he's working contract. on a month to month either. Yeah, so I think I, there's I, a new deal in place. I am yeah. writing what I find. Okay. Tegan Knox is hurt again. Um, Isn't that your girl? That sucks. That is my girl, and I'm upset. Very uh, touchy t- uh, subject here. Touchy tutter? Tutter tutter tutter. The Swifties are coming after Grayson Waller right now. I don't know if you heard what Grayson Waller said. That he said that you know the worst fans in the world he thought were wrestling fans. <laughs> Instead, but, oh, he no, thinks now, Swifties. no, 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 the I Swifties don't know are worse. I like this. I've always liked Grayson Waller. Um, is he? I'm not going to compare him to Piper, but he's like a modern day Roddy Piper with the with the show and sure. The he, could you imagine Piper with Twitter back in the day? Oh God, I'd, he'd be canceled. Um, so yeah, so l- listen, Grayson, you got to tread lightly, bro. They'll come after you in oh, bunches. Oh, wait a minute, because <laughs> I'm a little annoyed at this. Go. So, <clears throat> while, I was, his throat. while I was getting my hair cut, you know, some of the guys in the barber shop wanted to know because I gave my barber the seasoning, okay. and they got other guys in the barber shop. Well, how did you get that? Is that your own company? So I went on that Say other yes. web. I went on that other website to show them our episode. Where you sniffed it? Yeah. It's gone? No, it's there. Okay. With two minutes and 50 seconds worth of Pfizer commercials on our shit. Really? Yeah. (laughs) I mean. Where's our money, man? Mm -hmm. I mean, yeah, I'll contact somebody. I will, because they they shouldn't be watching our stuff for free and us not getting anything for it. And And fuck the Pfizer Pfizer? shit. Fuck (laughs) you, (laughs) man. Are you kidding right now? Um. Yeah, I'm no. not Travis Kelsey or fucking whatever his name is that plays the piano and has the crazy <laughs> wife. Uh, I don't know what the fuck his name um, is. But. That's very interesting. I'm glad you brought that to my attention. So now we'll go one-on-one in a war yeah. with uh, Fight TV. No, what was it? <laughs> what was it? Pro Wrestling Pro TV? Pro Wrestling TV. Pro Wrestling TV. You have uh, yourselves a little fight on your hands. 
Yeah, take Coming our shit down. Coming after you, you little shits. Take our shit down. And or pay us. You can yeah. pay us. How about that? We'll get, I mean, we ain't going to give you any new episodes, but you could pay us some royalties for the past ones. can't believe they're throwing ads on our old episodes. Dude, and I'm talking So you were like mid-sniff and were like, <laughs> no, <laughs> please right take your vaccine. <laughs> when I swiped it all the way, like mm-hmm. getting to the towards the end of the show. It started the commercial? The ads came up, and it was four in a row of Pfizer. Two Travis wow. Kelsey <laughs> and two of the, the fucking singer. Okay. Wow. And I'm like... Oh hell no! <laughs> what the fuck? Like that—that's some money. Get off my lawn, Tommy says. Um, well, shit. AEW man. news: Scotty Tuhati is now a producer at AEW. That's good. Good for him. Uh, that is very awesome. Brock Anderson is out of AEW. That's weird because uh, I don't know if they're going to bring him into WWE. No, I don't, I don't know what think they're they going to do with him. And the coolest news in wrestling for the last, I guess, seven days has been the official announcement that Impact Wrestling is going back. To total nonstop action. I love TNA. Brian Myers' uh, Instagram what you, post. What do you say? I work for TNA. <laughs> <laughs> that should be a hashtag at this point. Uh, very cool that they can go back and turn back the clock and get their old logo back and shit like that. I think it'll be good for the brand. They need a little kick in the ass. Go back to the old ring. I well, love six the They said that they're not six going sides. to. It was six sides, right? Yeah. I don't think they're going to. Uh, Cause everyone, Because when I was doing my little research for this show, um, like wrestlers were saying that the four sided ring was like better on their backs or something when they had to run the ropes or something like that. Yeah, well, yeah, because if you hit a rope the wrong way, you know, it sucks. So imagine having to redirect and doing all these other redirects. They had some crazy ass cage matches with that, though. What's his name? That, walking across the top yeah, of that it. Was Fucking pretty, all the X Division yeah. matches were yeah, great. The X yeah, so matches. TNA, listen. Prime TNA was really good shit. Well, like, what, that was the alternative look back what in the Prime day. Prime TNA had. Main Event Mafia, which had Kevin Nash, Sting, Sting. I think Ric Flair. Angle, uh, Scott Steiner, yep. uh, fucking uh, Nash. The, oh, the entire X Division. Nash. Nash. Um, they had, uh, fuck, dude, Booker Christopher T. Daniels. Uh, K- um, I completely dude, forgot Booker T was there. It was basically the only place you can go if WWE just shit canned you and yeah. there was nothing else. Um, but they built up a rod. The the birth of basically AJ Styles. You know what I mean? Like they've had Samoa some, Joe was there too. Samoa right? Joe yep. was there. He had oh my god the classic matches he had over there. TNA back in the day was incredible stuff. They started getting. They goofy. got the talent down there. They, yeah, they, they started, do. They started getting goofy when they started working with Bellator and like having Tito yeah, Ortiz and got, Rampage yeah, got a little, come out. Like got I a get you, I get what you were trying to do with it, but right. That, that um, wasn't moving the needle at all. But, yeah, I think that, uh, that that's a great move for them. I think that it will reinvigorate the product. Now, get off that fucking channel. Yeah, we've got to figure out where you guys one. are going as far as, like, your streaming. I know that they just streamed Bound for Glory uh, on Premiere, mm-hmm. so that was cool. Um, but, yeah, I mean, we'll see how that all kind of shakes out. I think it's uh, starting uh, January of 24. Just turn yeah, the, du- the, the CW Channel 11 into a wrestling channel. They already got women to wrestling. Wow's on Channel 11. What time is that on? Like 2 in the morning? Or I don't know. Now they got NWA. Why not put Impact on there? Yeah. Yeah, I did have some conversation with uh, EC3 about the NWA stuff. That just seems to be a very, very good direction for the company to go in is doing the territories and shit like yeah. that. I think it'll be awesome for the brand, awesome for the belt, and uh all that shit. So I never got the chance to to talk to EC three because I was I was busy getting Kevin pizza. Got to pay your dues, brother. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So that'll do it for this week's edition and episode of the Chop Sports Fight Factor. You can find us on the web over there on the Twitterverse on the and on the line here, right? Um, Twitterverse and of course Instagram Fight Factory CS. You can find us on TikTok, which I know Shay is keeping up with. Shay is a busy, busy girl now. I'm she's doing this while I'm at school. Bunch of shit. Wow. Yeah. You so can find me every single Tuesday night on the USA Network, <laughs> going back for my belt. Yeah. Uh, make a wish, Braun over here, or whatever that was called. Um, Bollywood Braun. You're just. I don't know what you're doing. Like, you know what bothers me? I'm a cutoff guy. Like, I have more cutoffs than sleeve shirts. It, it, the fringes and shit. Dude, it's so bad, it, bro. It, it was, you did it with a kid's scissors. It, I understand yeah. that, but it's just like... No, it's bad. You could you could have been like, yo, by the way, I need to cut sleeves off. We have scissors here. I don't know what you have here. I don't know if, if Chris sold them for a fucking helmet out there. What do I know? <laughs> it, wouldn't, it would not surprise me. <laughs> um, but yeah, so anyway, horrible shirt. Thank you. Nice try on the gimmick. Shay gave it her best effort, I guess, with the cowboy hat and stuff I like that. I forgot my <clears throat> Whoever's cowboy hat that is. It's yeah. the cousin that you met that came to that show a couple the couple shows the ball guy. 
Oh, yeah, okay, okay, that's right. The other we did Cowboys talk about fan that. in my family. We did talk about that. We talked about the Cowboys. Nobody's perfect. Yeah. Um, yeah. Not Dave or my cousin. <laughs> wow. Anyway, so that, welcome back, Shay, and thanks for I'm going filling back in. to school right after. Yeah, I was going to say, thank you for filling in for Officer Payne. And thank again. you for giving us a week of not having to look at his short shorts. And yeah, or the gray sweats. And his bring bat wings. I'm um, bringing the class back to the show. The class thank is you. It'll be gone next show. week. Yeah. <laughs> Dave Sturgio, Tommy D, the return of producer Shay. This has been another episode of The Fight Factory, and we'll see you guys next week. Rawr. Rawr. Oh, oh, oh.